Hi friends, today we have uh, Piyush Savarkar with us uh, to share his journey. So hi Piyush. First of all, thank you for having me sir here. Yeah. And uh, hello. So can you please uh, introduce yourself and uh, tell me about, tell us all, uh, like uh, tell all of us about your journey. Okay. So firstly, firstly, I'll tell my name is Piyush Savarkar and I'm B computer science from Mumbai University and I also come from Mumbai only. Okay. Okay. So tell us uh, more about your background, your education. Okay. So firstly, I like to tell that uh, um, I come from a very educated family. Like my father is engineer and my mother is MSc mathematics. So naturally science and mathematics was my pathway uh, which did happen so so i graduated from in uh, for, from uh, a b from mumbai university from 2021 okay and yeah uh, and also i was the i was a kind of student who used to get 10 pointers in my college so i'm that kind of student uh, <laughs> which people usually think that uh, tracking gate is difficult for them so can you please tell me like uh, when you have started your gate preparation and uh, yeah. uh, uh, how many hours on an average you used to put on daily? Seriously, when? Uh, as I, yeah, as I said, uh, I passed out last year itself in 2021. Okay. Actually, I had given a gate exam yet, uh, last year also. Hmm. But uh, basically, I started my preparation from my final year. Uh, Till then, I used to just uh, go through with my uh, Mumbai University engineering syllabus and uh, with college only, I used to study. But uh, actually, uh, as I mentioned, I was that type of student who was getting 10 pointers. So basically, my full focus last year was on my semesters and my final year projects. So basically, I I didn't prepare uh, the, the, what you can say, the most serious preparation I didn't started in my final year itself. I started from after my end sem exams. After that, I started with uh, around by mid May in last year, 2022, 2021, I started with the uh, gate preparation. So yeah. in that I basically first uh, uh, had gone through my whole, because I had brushed up on all the things earlier itself. So I had then, I had to just go through only the things which I was not sure with uh, perfectly. Yeah, so I just mentioned that you are a very good student in uh, your uh, uh, engineering. So it would have been very easy to prepare many concepts. Like that's not the case with everybody. They have to start from scratch. So I'm sure you had an advantage over here. Yeah. Okay. So actually, yeah, yeah, please continue. Uh, yeah, actually, I uh, when I gave my gate exam last year in 2021, I thought I would not do a pretty much good in it. But still, I got an under thousand rank with uh, not even solving any previous year questions. So that actually boosted me a bit about that I may perform good. Okay. So I had a sense that I will do better this year. And I knew my potential that it would be much better than this. So... Should I tell about my uh, preparation strategy? Yeah, please, please uh, mention your preparation strategy and what was your uh, experience with Gate Applied Course? Please go ahead. Uh, firstly, because I had prepared a little bit, then I just brushed up on my uh, concepts and then I had to first started with previous year questions. Uh, there is one website, Gate Overflow, from where I practiced all the uh, previous year questions and also I had started with giving full length previous year papers then in, in May month itself okay. uh, because because I had a fairly good idea about how uh, concepts are there. So when I started initially giving in May month itself my previous year's uh, papers, I found that I was lacking in uh, problem solving and uh, conceptual area were almost clear like uh, time management and exam temperament was the thing I was lacking mostly. So then I actually uh, uh, changed my pattern of uh, study. Like I actually then more focused on giving uh, previous year questions itself. I solved them multiple times okay. to build, basically build my uh, problem solving intuitions and uh, what you can say, uh, 
basically when i solve it i solve the same question multiple times i modified my strategy to approach it i modified uh, that modifications helped me to gain actually a very good knowledge about those questions and that way i prepared around june till only previous year papers yeah previous year papers then i when you prepared only pyqs yeah, of all only the pyqs yeah and but full i finished it full twice or thrice before june itself okay great and and then came gate applied uh, exams uh, the, the scholarship test it was it was the uh, best thing i could say because that boosted my confidence so much that i cannot uh, emphasize more okay because uh, when i uh, actually i got uh, the uh, gate applied when i when i got my gate applied course uh, i the the course was very structured and that helped me to uh, just search the concepts which i actually needed and i could get a video quickly and then i could just go through those videos around one month i just parallelly uh, gone through all those difficult concepts which i was uh, facing difficulty in from gate applied course which actually boosted me too much because oh, okay. after after uh, so basically i did first previous year questions and then i went for gate applied course and then i again again solved those previous year questions just to uh, like basically i had now gained more confidence because uh, concepts were also uh, sinking in my head and then i when i again solved those previous year papers then it it was like a uh, like piece of cake like for instance i can tell you around around july or august i used to solve five to six papers a day uh, previous year papers yeah and around october i finished up all this previous years and gate applied course uh, watching videos all this thing till october i finished fully okay and post october then i full fledged started with test series till okay. then i had not solved any single question of any test series great great so that's a very good point you have highlighted piyush uh, mostly mm -hmm. students they uh, focus on just doing the videos or just uh, uh, completing the syllabus but actually if you have covered these things in your btech very well you just need yeah. little bit of polishing in in this case exactly. that is uh, yeah. you have to develop that problem solving aptitude you have to make that so that uh, because in gate exam even in the uh, 2022 paper 2022 paper uh, there were many questions which are uh, very new so you yeah. have to have that aptitude in order to uh, solve the new paper uh, new questions yes. uh, because yes. uh, the concepts would be repeated but the questions will never be repeated so yes. yeah problem solving is super important so if you already yes. have the knowledge of the syllabus that's fine if you don't have then you have to first gain it and then you have to focus on problem solving so there are many aspirants yes. like even i have spoken to uh, last year also and this year also and the year before so they just uh, focus on completing the syllabus and not problem solving so that's super important can you please uh, highlight uh, like how you encountered or how you manage the mistakes in your test or the areas where you are weak whenever you are giving either a subject test or a full length test so how what was your approach and like uh, can you please elaborate on that so firstly as i said i started with october and before that i had given all previous year question papers as a test only Yeah. So my exam temperament was built up that how to deal with three hour situations in October itself because I had practiced too much. Okay. Now the thing was I am facing different questions while giving those. Uh, I in in start it was a slightly difficult to uh, face new questions, but then it was fairly easy to catch up with it. After so I I would like to say that uh, not giving too much time. but not also giving too less time for analyzing this is the trick okay uh, like smart work is hard work plus time management i feel this that's why i would say uh, whenever i used to give any test what i used to do i used to uh, first go through the questions which i made wrong and because those are the questions which i have attempted that means i had the confidence that i could make them correct so i used to only correct first them and then with the question then i used to figure out those questions which i actually left for them why i left them that is the question i need to ask to myself and then i used to go through books and just quickly go through them 
understand it and see the solution and move ahead this was my strategy for analyzing the tests and okay. uh, one one important thing i did not make any notes uh like uh, any any type of notes like obviously i had books uh, standard books and uh, all so i used to directly go through textbook itself because it has that uh, bookmarks uh, there so i did not make any notes the reason for that was i feel if i make notes for for me i am telling if i make notes then i used to think that uh, so i have to read it also if i have made them then i have to read it unless i read it i won't get confidence yeah. so i thought that it is not needed if we if i develop if i uh, make myself so stronger that every time i have i am facing the same difficulty i am recollecting from my brain again and again that way actually it helped me to uh, uh, my recollecting capability got uh, uh, got sharpened that way by not revising note or not making at all any notes directly going through books only or directly attempting it okay so you have developed uh... uh because you have already well well covered the topics in good depth during your engineering also so ha- you had the concepts in your mind uh the revision part was taken care by the problem solving itself yes and, exactly uh, yeah so hence i need not make you need you, you didn't require you didn't uh, need to make notes okay great so you wish like if there was like anything like uh, you would like to suggest to students who are taking drop so what would that be uh one thing i would like to tell you should not uh, whosoever are taking drop they should be very firm with what reason was uh, what were what is their reason like uh, did they uh, what mistakes did they make in their first attempt uh, they they should be very firm with it that reason should be very firm and the motivation should be till the last day why we are giving that gate exam these two things are just for starting after that in preparation i would first recommend to solve all the previous year uh, the, uh, there is one book also go uh, gate or flow book uh, yeah. in that book we can get all the previous years and all uh, good solutions so one must go through that book uh, multiple times i'll i'll suggest to solve multiple times because when we solve one difficult question two or three or four times then we develop more ideas about solving that problem and also we think about more variations possible in that problem because i have noticed that uh, in previous years uh, like uh, if if i take talk about iit khadakpur then their pattern of making question papers is fixed almost fixed but obviously they follow the trend which is going in current uh, f- four or five years four back. five years yeah but still, yeah but still the weightage like uh, like graph theory this time came it was also it was expected that the, uh, discrete math was going to be good and tougher uh, like the or even in computer network some different question was expected this time also even they had given in 2014 mm-hmm. so one can uh, definitely find a pattern as per iit and also as per the trend of uh, previous 4 to 5 years so firstly uh, one should focus on previous years secondly they should start with the test series uh once they are 100% sure of every question in previous year that is basically sufficient for cracking it i think there is anything like uh you would like to uh, change in your preparation or you feel it should have been done anyway what would that be and any other message you have for students aspiring for gate okay uh actually i would not like to change anything at all great uh, the reason is because uh, i think uh, we should not think twice before doing any sort of hard work we just plan it and start for it okay so basically everybody every topper might have some different strategy to uh, basically approach the exam preparation and obviously we will find some mistakes after after uh, after exam is over but yes. i don't think that i can correct anything because uh, those are the things which will come like you have to do that uh, you have to go through that hard work and smart work so that uh, after that we can change like as we proceed with the preparation we can obviously we can basically modify our preparation i would suggest this to do rather than 
starting from a uh, whole preparation at beginning only like a uh, whole strategy from so one thing i would like to suggest yeah please tell uh, for gate applied course actually yeah please uh, sir uh, as all india uh, i uh, one more thing i want to tell to students that give a mock test uh, as many all india mock tests they could possibly give because only then they could judge their preparation Okay. so uh, i just wanted to uh, tell you sir can you make uh, some center based tests for available for students like the students have to go to some center and then give the, their exams uh, their uh, applied all india mock tests yeah we'll try to work on that uh, as of now like uh, due to the covid restrictions we had things yeah. uh, in such such things in our pipeline but due to covid yeah. like uh, many things we had to drop it off uh but yeah going forward like we will think if it's possible we'll definitely take it up yeah, yeah. and uh, also for the students they should actually try to isolate themselves while giving tests like uh, try to develop some uh, difficult situations while giving exams like a scenario because those little things also uh, to some extent matter okay yeah okay so yeah any other feedback you have for gate applied course like uh, whatever positive or negative so that we can improve better or focus uh, no no it's perfectly all right okay okay to you thanks for your time and we wish you all the best thank you sir